Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to uh, show this type of KPIs in Power BI gauge visualization. So in here I have used two gauge visualization. So in my tutorial I will compare and show you how we can use uh, this two gauge visualization in Power BI. Uh, so if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel for more Power BI videos. So let's go to the tutorial and see how we can achieve or how we can develop this type of two uh, gauge visualization and the advantages of it. Usually in an organization they give minimum target, target and stretch target. So in my tutorial today I will going to show you how we can use gauge visualization to show all these three values in a Power BI dashboard. So let's go to the Power BI and see how we can develop this. Right, so now I'm in the Power BI. My data set contains salesperson, item, sales value and sales date. So basically KPIs will be defined for the sales value. So uh, this is my data source and uh, you can download this data source in the description section if you want to practice this tutorial. So let's see uh, and let's go to the Power BI dashboard and develop this. Right, first we see how we can use normal gauge visualization to display the KPIs. So for that you can go here and you can add the gauge visualization in here by clicking it. So it will display like this. So there are some fields that we need to add here in the field section. So we'll see how we can add some values in it. Right so now I'm going to add the values to the gauge visualization. So then usually my value should be sales value. That should be sum Okay, that is fine. So here you can see uh, some value uh, is started to display. Now I need to change these values. So there are a few methods that we can do that. First thing is so you can go here and the gauge axis. So you if you select gauge axis and you can set the minimum. So my minimum value was 25,000 and the maximum value was 75,000 maximum target and my target was 60,000 right so those are the three values so this is the one method of the adding a gauge visualization the default gauge visualization so as you can see it is very easy so it is just only uh, the matter of defining these values right so that is the first method right so the second method is without defining the gauge axis values so we can define minimum maximum target values as the fields so here we can define that for that we have to create few measurements so let's see how we can create these measurements so in here i want to add few measurement to this so first that i'm going to go and click uh, new measurement so then i add minimum target so these are all our fixed values so i defined it as 25000 right so then again i have to go and uh, add a new measurement so then I define the target as 50 uh, 60,000 and then I have to again go and create a new measurement which I define the stretch target or the maximum uh, target as uh, 75,000 Right, so my new uh, measurements are added here. I go to here and I remove these gauge values first. Right, then I come back to my field section. I add these measurements to that minimum target, minimum value, and then I add a stretch target as the maximum value, then as the target. I'll give the target value. Right, so as you can see, now we can get the same type of output uh, by using uh, these measurements as well. So now let's go and see how we can add the next gauge visualization in order to display the minimum, maximum, and target uh, KPIs. Right, so my next gauge visualization should look like this. 
so as you can see there are more uh, details in that so let's see how we can uh, add it to the power bi which the report that i have uh, developed right so that visualization we can't f find here because of that we have to go by clicking these three dots to marketplace so we'll click that right now i uh, search the gauge visualization that i want right here i want the dial gauge visualization first thing is i add it to my power bi visualization pane so since i have already added it uh, so it mentioned that you want to update it so i'll say yes right so now it is successfully added to my power bi visualization pane so next uh, step is uh, let's see how we can use this in order to display my KPIs right so now we add the dial gauge visualization to my power bi dashboard right so uh, as you can see here in the field section if we select dial gauge visualization there are more configuration than the gauge visualization right so we have to set min max target star target end actual start actual end pointer value so different fields are there the first thing is that I add is uh, the pointer value so that would be the sum of sales value so that is I have added so as you can see now the minimum value shows as 0 is 100 right so then uh, this is the pointer value so now the first step is to change the maximum value so I go uh, here and I will add the maximum value as the stretch target Right, so as you can see now the point is correctly set to the uh, 73,000 location so now uh, in this gauge visualization I want to add few separation that means I want to separate minimum target level target level and the stretch target level so how we can do that so if we select this one so minimum value is already set to 0 so I'll keep it as it is and then uh, target start so target start value I will set it as target right so now as you can see the 60 separation also uh, came into my visualization so here the value shows as 60 right target ends that uh, I don't want because target ends it's always 75,000 the stretch target and actual start I will set this actual start as the minimum target right so now guys as you can see all the three separations are there 0 to 25,000 there's no any target achieved 25,000 to 60,000 it is in the minimum target level 60,000 to 75,000 it is in the target level so if you uh, the pointer goes above that then it will be the 75,000 that means the stretch target achieved right and we can do few formatting here if we go so we can uh, change the font size and then we can set this custom colors to this uh, visualization right and also we can set formatting and we can start uh, toggle and we can remove this so as you can see now uh, kind of uh, different uh, values are displaying different value in the sense uh, it is uh, displaying 73k not the actual values right and also we can uh, change the title right so we can say KPIs 2020 right so uh, we can change the font uh, size as well background color I'll set it as black so as you can see now the desired output uh, that we have uh, gained by using this dial gauge visualization there are a few differences here so when it comes to gauge visualization so as you can see it started from 25,000 because in gauge visualization we can't have separations like this uh, part, I mean the dial gauge visualization we can have this value separations so that is the one major difference when it comes to gauge and dial gauge visualization and when it comes to TV screen so dial gauge visualization uh, shows a kind of better view so uh, I recommend that you use it and also depends on your requirement you can configure this uh, a lot so that also one of the advantages by using the dial gauge visualization and uh, I think uh, you have learned uh, to use how to use this uh, gauge visualization and the dial gauge visualization to your power bi dashboard and thank you very much for watching my video and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more power bi videos and keep in touch